Hello. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to configure Visual Studio for MPI. Okay. So the first step is to take up um, Visual Studio. Right. You can go to Visual Studio, download. Right. Just go download the latest IDE. Yeah. Let's click on download. Click on uh, Click on community, professional enterprise, whatever you want. Just go ahead and download it. You can click on the free version right here. Right. Visual Studio Community free. Okay. Let's go ahead and download that. Once you're done with that, right, I have done my system here, Visual Studio. Uh, yeah, there we go. I have done my system here. Right. The next thing you'll have to do is um, download MPI. MPI download for Windows. Go ahead. Um, click on this first link that's available. Go ahead here. Click on download. Click on this. You want this one. You don't want the MSI file. You just want the EXE file for your Windows system. Click on next and click on download and proceed through the steps. Okay. Put in the default folder. Don't go to change. Just go ahead and install it. I'll assume you know a bit of computer science that you can follow up till here. Right. The next thing you have to do is configure your Visual Studio for MPI programs. Right. I'm going to teach you exactly how you do that. So go open up Visual Studio. Open it up. Then just create a new project from scratch. Go up. Um, click on Console app. Okay. Go to next. I'm just write the name of the file as let's say MPI trial run. This is the name of my project file. And I'll just go create it. Oh, I'll leave that. And so, okay. Now that's going to be created. Now, very, very important step. Um, go to this uh, place where it's in x64. It's telling it's going to run in a 64 bit machine, but I want you to run in, in a 32 bit environment system. So go click on x86. Okay, that's important. Now I have an MPI program in my clipboard. I'm just going to paste it here. Right? You can see that it's throwing a lot of errors, especially when in the include statements and in the MPI statements. Right? Because it's uh, the compiler is not able to find these find these headers nor these functions it doesn't know where it's installed so you need to set up set up this thing such that it can find out where exactly these files are so just uh, right click here go to properties okay now under properties um okay the first thing you have to do is go to cc plus plus click on general and under additional include directories Excuse me if I'm moving too fast. But yeah. So just click on edit and then just click this one. And then from here just click this. Now when you're clicking on additional include directories, you want to include the headers, right? You want to include mpi.h because you want to uh, paste a path towards the mpi header file. So that you have to go to open OSC and go to program files in 86. Open up Microsoft SDKs. Okay, again, repeat the steps. Open up your C, C drive, program files into 86 because we're debugging for 86. Open that, then click on Microsoft SDKs in that MPI. Once you go there, I want you to click on this include folder and just select it right okay now we're done then um, go to the linker under linker go to general and under general yeah additional library directories right here so there's a library directory that i want you to add and that's going to be um, again the same place all over again ah. Now I open this folder, check what's inside. You can see there are two five folders right inside. And since we're debugging for an 86 version, select that. 
just like that folder and click okay right. then go to input additional dependencies edit that now the dependencies that are not located locally needs to be added here so there's one particular file that we need it's a lib file we need that to run MP programs it's called ms mpi.lib just type that in here then click ok now just go ahead click apply this is really important click apply and wait till it's applied ok apply it's applying wait for it now once the settings are applied right then we'll proceed to the next step now I think they're applied let's close, let's close this one ok now you can see there's no more errors being thrown um, just run it now there you go it's, it's running it's working the program is working it's printing it up but so i think that'll be all um, for this video i'm gonna end it right here thanks for watching